Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the Force USA headquarters. And in today's video, we are going to do an updated review of this beast right here behind me, the Force USA G20. Now you're probably familiar because we did three other videos on the G20 here on the YouTube channel. We did a full overview video along with Dan from Force USA. We also did two dedicated workout review videos. All three videos will be in the description below. But today's my last day here at the headquarters and I decided to revisit it. This, this YouTube channel loves doing updated reviews. We wanna see how we revisit stuff a month, three months, six months, years down the line. So it's about a year later, I've had the opportunity to work with the G3 for the past year. And I've also had the opportunity to revisit other G series, all one trainers and other pieces of equipment. So this is kind of a good litmus test of where the G20 fits in or may not fit in with literally too, not fit in to your home gym, garage gym, or even fitness studio space. So what I did here was a full body workout. We're gonna B roll some footage. I started with flat bench press and this is a full workout number three of the week. So usually I go lighter. I do accessory work. I don't really do many uh, free barbell or free dumbbell uh, exercises. So I started out with flat bench on the Smith machine. Now this bar, as opposed to some that are counterbalanced, is a 45 pound bar. So you have to add the 45 pounds to the 50 that I have on there. So 95 pounds. And I'm just going anywhere between eight to 12 reps, two to three sets and trying to get sometimes more exercises. So this felt nice and smooth. I really like the feel of the Smith machine and I'm using their uh, FID bench, which we have in the home gym back in Georgia. Uh, very nice, feels very good. After that, I ended up doing uh, stuff on the optional attachment. Now this is not part of the base model. This is the optional lat pull down row. Also has dip handles to do dips, has its own dedicated weight stack. And I started out with low rows and I really did like the foot plate on this because I can go wider and kind of bend my knees to get a more comfortable range on the row. Uh, and you do get a leg press attachment included with the G20, which also doubles as a low row foot plate. So the base model has something like this already, but having it dedicated and having it be this wide is also very, very useful. So after that, I did lap pull downs. Now, really quickly, I just, I B-rolled some footage of the low row handle these attachments are commercial quality attachments. So for the price you're getting for the G20, the premium price, you're also getting premium attachments with that. And with the lap pull down, it's no different because this pull down bar, I wish they sold it uh, a la carte because I would buy this along with the low row handle. It, it is really great to have the laser etching, but also multiple grips to be able to do multiple angles on the neutral grip pull up, no matter how, if you're tall like me or at my wife's height, she can get a closer grip, I can get a super wide grip. It's a very, very premium attachment and this is across the entire uh, lineup of attachments that are included with the G20. So next I did shrugs inside the Smith machine. I didn't curl inside the squat rack, but I did shrugs inside the Smith machine, inside the squat rack. I don't know if that is a penalty or whatever in gym etiquette, uh, but if you have a home gym, you don't have to worry about that gym etiquette. You just do whatever you want. You can work out in your underwear. Uh, I'll plead the fifth on that one, but <laughs> so I did shrugs and the, the beautiful thing about doing shrugs uh, on an all one trainer like the G20 and these are other ones in the G series lineups. You have safety stoppers, you can hook it there and you don't have to bend over and essentially do a deadlift every time you can have the, the uh, movement to go in and out of the shrug minimalized so to reduce the risk of injury or anything like that. Most of the times I get hurt, I'm always getting hurt getting in and out of uh, the exercises and you know not, not really paying attention. I need to focus better, but this helps at least minimalize the, any chance or risk of injury and it just uh, saves my energy for the actual shrugs and other exercises. So that's a really nice touch right there. So at the end of this video, we are gonna summarize the pros and cons of the G20, but I just wanted to stop right here because when I did shoulders, I usually do cable delt raises. So I do cable side delt raises like that. 
On the G20, it's a one-to-one -one cable pulley ratio, which a lot of people are like, wow, that's great, one-to-one -one pulley uh, ratio. That's awesome. Two-to-one means, you know, I got to double the weight stack in order to get the same weight because one-to-one -one is 100%. In other words, 100 pounds equals 100 pounds. Two-to-one, 50 pounds is what 100 pounds would be. So 100 pounds of weight on the stack divided in half with a two-to-one ratio is 50. Now, that works out great in most situations, but for a light uh, exercise or accessory work, like a cable delt raise on the side, the front, whatever you want to do, even face pulls sometimes, whenever you have that, you may not be able to do it with really good form. You're not doing a power version of that and trying to do it. You know, some people like to do it explosively, but I was not able to do a weight that light even with the pin completely out. It was still just a little bit too heavy. So when you're looking at a one-to-one -one ratio to the two-to-one ratio, with the size of these weight stacks, even if it was a two-to-one ratio, it would be plenty of weight for the cable movements that I would do personally. Now, some people might be like, I'm paying for pr the premium for this thing. It's gotta be one-to-one, -one, it's gotta be commercial, it's gotta be all these things that kind of go together. I completely understand that, but with the shoulder exercise like the side delt raise and not having dumbbells available, I ended up using these Force USA plates that they sell on the website that have the open handles, which in some cases I prefer those uh, more than the bumper plates. They'll be easier to carry, easy to take off, put back on the machine, and I know first world problems. But I found these plates, which we're gonna review and compare plates versus bumpers in a future video. So stay subscribed, click the bell to get notified. Oh, I never say that in the beginning. I always say that somewhere in the middle or just forget it until the end. But uh, we're gonna do a video on that because that could save you some money depending upon your situation. But I was not able to do it. I was not able to do it. I wasn't strong enough to have good form and, and go slowly with that accessory work. So that, that could be a negative to you, or you could be like, well, I got a pair of dumbbells, or I got adjustable dumbbells. I am completely fine, or I got plates I can use. And the one-to-one -one ratio will work out for you most every other time. But I needed to put that out there in case you do that, and you're like, ah, this might be a little bit too much for me. So the next two exercises that I did to finish off this workout was biceps and triceps. And the beauty is that I can put one side all the way at the top, one side at the bottom. And even if I wanted to switch grips, one side up, one side down. So in this case, I was doing rope push downs and I was also starting with straight barbell curls. So I could literally just switch back and forth, do supersets, very, very efficient. And in this case, I had about 40 pounds on each one, very, very light, but still at the same time, uh, it's the end of the week, I've done these full body workouts, so I wanted to make sure that I was safe and I kind of repped out stuff. It felt great. So in this case, the one-to-one -one ratio works out great. I'm able to put 40 pounds on there, get a true 40 pounds on the push down, on the curl, and it worked out perfectly. So like I said, the, the side delt raise uh, issue may just be that one exercise, or you might have a few exercises, like in the case of the biceps and triceps, my wife may still need to go very, very, very light on that on some of the grips. So just take that and figure out what works for you and what might not. So here is my updated thoughts summarized to an extent of the pros and cons of the G20. So there's one word that tends to be thought of with the G20 when I look at this compared to other all-in-one trainers, and that word is overkill, and it has an asterisk. Yeah, I pronounced it right. It has one of those things after it, because this is the case where you look at it and you say, okay, it's overkill. I forgot to mention throughout the workout video or throughout this updated uh, review video, this has three pull-up bars. It has a multi-grip in the center and two globe grips, which I still can't do more than one pull up on the globe grip, two globe grips on the opposite sides. So essentially you're saying, why would you use three pull up bars? That's overkill. The optional lap pull down row attachment may be overkill. The one to one cable pulley ratio may be overkill. The attachments, the number of them, the premium quality of them might be overkill. But this is the scenario why I see there's two. One is, one is definitely like a business type of situation. The other is just 
a budget one and one that somebody just says, this is the one I want. So in the business category, if you want to make money, if you have a personal training studio, if you have one of those garage gyms like my buddy Spitz Fitness in Buckhead, Georgia, and he trains clients in his garage gym, you could put three people on here at once. You can essentially do a boot camp or do circuit training. So when you have three clients within one session, you're making three times the money within that session. You multiply that times however many sessions you have per day, per, per day and, and then throughout the week and all that stuff, you are definitely making your money back. So whatever premium price you're paying, you're investing in your business and you're making the money back. The other thing is people just might want the G20. They might want the overkill. They might want the ceiling of maybe someday myself, uh, my spouse, my kids, we're all going to work out on this thing. We all can work out together and we don't have to wait in line. We don't have to wait for, you know, a pull up bar. We don't have to wait to use the cables. That's also something if your time is very valuable, you can do that. And some people just want to buy the top of the line model. Some people would just want the optional attachment, even though in my opinion, the base model gives you just about, if, and if not everything that you need with that, uh, the optional attachment is that buy once, cry once. All right, I might need this one day, so let me just get it. Because uh, guess what? Once you buy this thing, uh, you better include it with your house if you move. And that's another thing. I, if you're going to be where you're going to be, this thing to assemble, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't try it. I would hire a professional assembly service, which I checked the Force USA website at the time of this recording. They're offering professional assembly service on the G20 and other stuff in the G lineup. So check out that price, because I think it would be well worth it, especially in this case, because I hate assembling stuff. Uh, and this would be like a living hell, literally a living hell to assemble for me. I will not try it. I will have somebody else assemble it. But I live in an apartment. Now, God willing, I'm not going to be living in an apartment for the rest of my life. As long as I have a roof over my head, shelter, my wife and my cats are healthy and safe and fed, I'm good with that. But I do plan on buying a house. I do plan on expanding uh, the home gym business and the Stevie Richards Fitness brand. So if I bought this and assembled it in an apartment and move a year later, the disassembly and then moving and reassembly is going to be very, very cumbersome. I would use a couple F-bombs in there with, <laughs> with cumbersome, but oh God, I would just do this. Uh, but if you plan on getting this uh, and being in your home for a long time or it's part of your business and you have a long-term plan, this assembly and reassembly is not an impossibility. I'm just saying, as far as your time being valuable, uh, the buy once, cry once, and keep it as a lifetime investment, that could be for you. But if you're in a temporary situation or a situation where you know you're going to move in the next year, maybe two years, and you don't have a plan or a service in place to do this, it's going to be a pain in the ass. It's going to be just awful. So that may be just this much in the con uh, category of the G20, but I want to help you have the most informed consumer decision as we always do in these review videos. I know this conclusion is kind of long, but I'm putting all these different scenarios because if you spend this kind of money on the G20, you want to make sure it's right. You don't want to get it, have it assembled, and then figure out, oh, I can't do side delt raises. I can't do really light stuff. Or this thing, the footprint is just brutal. I can't, I can't fit this in my home because it is a beast. The footprint for what it has is very, very efficient. It's engineered extremely well, especially for the price and the quality. But still, it it's, may not even fit in my apartment, Jim. It may not fit in that space to where I can get behind it with the plates that has to be kicked out further from the wall. The optional attachment adds even more. Uh, and we'll put the dimensions up there because it is something you need to think about. Uh, you building a home gym space, space is usually at a premium and space and footprint could be the most important deciding factor in your purchasing decision. So that's about it. I wanted to give both sides of it. The beauty of it is, uh, especially with the G series lineup, if you want to go with the G3, if you want to go all the way up to the G20 or somewhere in between, uh, you can do that as according to your budget and the optional attachments and the included attachments with some of these G series model, especially included. Included with the G20, even included with the G3 is a very attractive 
kind of like plug and play. Once you assemble it, you are ready to go. I really do love that about uh, the products that I review in their lineup. And there's other companies out there that do the same thing that really just get you going. Once you assemble it, you're good. So uh, check out the other reviews, all three of those, the overview video and the two workout review videos from about a year ago are in the description below. Also, we have an affiliate link. So if you buy something like this and you want to save every penny you can, Use forestusa.com forward slash Stevie. It'll help you save a little bit of money. And it's very, very, uh, a bunch of gratitude for me for supporting the content because the affiliate code. So it's an affiliate link, not an affiliate code. Sorry about that. The affiliate link is forestusa.com forward slash Stevie. And as I was trying to say, but stumbling over my words, what affiliate accent? Usually it helps save you some money. And also, of course, it helps support the content here on the YouTube channel. Helps feed my cats too. They eat a lot of food. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate you guys watching this video. Please subscribe, click the bell to get notified. Click the bell to get notified. Good Lord. Philly accent, vocal implant, uh, whatever other thing got going on. Guys, I'm so, I feel so blessed to be able to bring these videos to you. I appreciate it. I don't take myself too seriously. Hope you laugh along with me. And most importantly, God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.